Hi, store owners. This is Ray, friend of support of FullSealPlugin.com. I'm recording this video so that I can show you how you can get started using the WooCommerce Wholesale Order Form plugin. So what happens after you activate the WooCommerce Wholesale Order Form is that it automatically creates a page called Wholesale Ordering, which contains the short code to load a Wholesale Order Form in your front end view of your site. So let's check the wholesale ordering page from the pages, all pages settings. As you can see, this is the wholesale ordering page. And earlier I have already modified its content. So if you click it, you will see this. It's important that this short code is present in order to load the wholesale order form in the front end. So let's take a peek of how it looks like. There you go. When the user check the page, it should load the wholesale order form here. As you can see, products are displayed and you can easily add the quantity and add it to cart. Let's, I'll show you how you can customize the options and set up the wholesale order form. Just go to WooCommerce settings. Then you will see the wholesale ordering tab here. Okay, the general tab contains the display and style, the search and filtering, and miscellaneous. For now, I'm going to explain a run through of the settings of our wholesale order form. So let's start with the display of order form style. The standard display is the one you see here in the screen with the add to cart on the side. An alternate display is that it shows an add to cart at the bottom. So let's save changes and see how it looks like. You can simply click the checkbox of add the cart so that you can include multiple products and multiple quantities at the same time. And at the end of the page or the wholesale order form, you can click this add selected products to cart so that all the products listed or checked with add to cart will be added to the cart page. Next is the order form paging style. So the paginated is the one that has pages from one, two, and the numerical values. So you can see here. So what the lazy load does is it's able to load more products as you scroll down. So I've just enabled that so that we can see. Just hitting refresh. And uh, as you can see, it loads and displays all the available products until all the products are displayed. Next is the products per page. It displays how many products are there you want to display. The show variations individually. It will display all variations in an individual row. The product click action. This one is what happens when you click a product in the wholesale order form. This feature or this option will redirect the product to its own individual product page. And this show a product details pop-up will show a pop-up display of the product. Let's try to, sh uh, I'll show you how it looks like when a show a product details pop up is enabled. I'm just gonna hit refresh again. And let's click on Google logo. There you go. You see that a pop up display of the details of the product is shown to the customers. So they don't have to leave existing page when they click on the product. Okay, the next one is the display extra columns. It will add another column if you don't want to display the stack quantity or customize this. Feel free to adjust it. The product tumble size is for the size of the in product image. The show car subtotal. This is the subtotal shown at the bottom. This is very useful if you're using the alternate uh, display. Then hide wholesale quantity based pricing tables. This one will hide the quantity based pricing table from our WooCommerce Wholesale Prices Premium. This one is also integrated with the Wholesale Prices Premium, the show order requirements. Um, I'll show it to you guys. It's like this one. If I disable it and hit save changes and hit refresh, uh, you'll see that the notice is not displayed any longer. Now let's go to search and filtering. First one is allows your inventory products. It means that if there is no available stock for a product, 
it will be displayed in the wholesale order form. But if you disable this, the wholesale order form won't display any zero products. Allow search by SKU. The product sorting we have four or five if you include the default sorting. So the default sorting is based on your standard WooCommerce sorting order. And you can customize this based on your liking. And the product sort order, it's just ascending or descending. Lastly, the miscellaneous is if you want to include the tax in the cart subtotal or exclude. Let's go to the next tab, filters. The product category filter will only display the products belonging to the selected category. So if you want to only display a specific category to the wholesale order form, just simply put it here. Or if you don't want to display a specific category on your wholesale order form, you can individually add the products manually in this filter. And lastly is default product category and search filter. So if you want to display a default product category, you can select one. For example, I'm choosing clothing. Then let's go back here. It should be the clothing that will be displayed in this filter. So let's go to the permissions tab. This gives you the ability to restrict the users from viewing the wholesale order form. Here, you can select the user roles of which user roles should be able to access the wholesale order form. And if ever, if a user does not qualify to view the wholesale order form, they will get this access denied message. So you can customize this access denied message by putting the title, the message, and the login URL. It's really effective if you're creating a wholesale only wholesale order form so that you can add here the wholesale registration page from our WooCommerce wholesale lead capture plugin. So the next set, uh, tab setting, the cache options. If you want to enable product caching, it will make the product loading faster, especially this works if you have a lot of variations. But if you constantly uh, update your products and or if you have another plugin that uses cache, you can disable this if in case there are conflicts or if the product doesn't update in the front end. Uh, you can simply just clear the cache if this is useful when troubleshooting uh, product display. So that's it for the getting started on getting to know the settings, the features of our wholesale order form. And thank you.